we do this tonight? You shut them down. Their offense couldn't score. It's a season low, 55 points for them, and you really held your own on the glass, too. Well, like I just said to our guys just a little while ago, um, our guys, in terms of their preparation, they never stopped working hard and believing in what we're trying to do. They won this game two days ago. They're focused. Uh, I thought that the last two days have probably been the best. It's been all year. And uh, anytime you have that, guys pulling for each other. And this time of year in February, you've got to have unbelievable chemistry and, and guys having each other's backs and, and, and trusting their teammates and believing in their teammates. And I think over the last couple of days, our guys have done a great job of that and they carried that over tonight. What did you see from Kevin Olegi made tonight? Kevin came out aggressive. He came out aggressive. You know, we. Uh, we really outlined uh, what each guy needed to do for, him, for us from an offensive standpoint. And uh, one of those keys for him uh, in particular was to come out and be very aggressive. Okay, And uh, he did that from the outset and, uh, and finished that, that same way. The rebounding. I mean, this is a UNLV team out rebounds its opponents by eight a game, but nobody had more rebounds tonight than the 6'2 uh, junior Tyler Johnson right next to you there. Tyler Johnson did a great job of coming down. We really talked about our guards coming down and helping us in this game. We knew that uh, these guys coming in, a big part of their offense was, was offensive rebounding, transition offense, and uh, uh, we needed to finish out stops with our guards coming down, helping our big guys rebound. How proud of you, uh, how proud of this team were you about the way they finished the game? You guys have had chances like this before and didn't finish tonight. You finished and finished strong. I was real proud of, this guy, of these guys here. I was real proud of the way, again, I said to them, it's the best our bench has been all year in terms of pulling for their teammates. The guys on the floor, we got, this is the best, the best we've had all year in terms of guys getting in huddles and staying engaged in the game. And you have to do that for 40 minutes in this league. You can't play 32 or 34 minutes. You have to play 40 minutes in this league. My last question for you, you've had a lot of moments this year, whether it's the end of the half and the other team hits a big shot on your home floor, or the end of the shot clock. Last week at Air Force, a 40-foot runner at the end of the first half. You had a moment like that in this game for your team when it gets down to the end of the shot clock and Alan Huddleston throws up a prayer and it goes in. How good did that feel to be on the right side of it? It feels great to be on the right side because we definitely have that feeling in, in terms of another team you know, making a, a, a shot at the end that really deflated you a little bit. But uh, in the case tonight, it gave us a lot of energy and, and momentum, and our guys kept building on it. We'll go to Mark from the Fresno Bee. Simple coach, is this the biggest win of the year? Oh, by far. I mean, we, we played tonight, uh, I think, uh, the most talented team in our league. Um, you know, we've got really good teams in our league, but they, I think, man to man down their roster, they have the most talent in our league. And uh, uh, when you're coming in, we had an unbelievable challenge. Uh, against these guys. I mean, Anthony Bennett to this point, not only has uh, had the kind of year to be, you know, one player of the, uh, the year in our conference, but player of the year nationally. So we knew coming in, we were we had our hands full with the very talented team. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kevin, uh, we're in the starting lineup today after being on the bench the last several games. Did that, did that uh, you know, inspire you? Did that you know, really score you know, 21 points to uh, I wouldn't say so. I mean, uh, my teammates and my coaches have faith in me, and Coach Plenty back in the starting lineup just uh, showed me that he didn't give up on me. So, I mean, I just knew what I had to do, and my teammates found me, and I was just knocking down shots. Are you feeling back to being your old self? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I would say so. I mean, I'm putting more time in the gym now. I mean, I got away from that a while ago, and, you know, it just feels good to be in there and doing what I have to do. Did it help you know who you were going up against tonight? And uh, you grew up there, scoring 35 a game as a high school senior, and, and they weren't your destination. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it gave me more fire because I'm from Vegas, and I know a lot of people was watching. Were watching and uh, you know, he's a very good team, uh, and we, we we just follow that game plan and execute. Questions? I've got one for Tyler. Um, your tenth rebound was tied a career high. They called it a rebound. It could also have been a steal. Bryce Jones thought he had the rebound, and you came out of nowhere and snatched it away from him. It was a key point in the game. It helped you guys finish it. Did you feel like you were at a different intensity level tonight? Because it looked like you wanted the ball more than anybody on the floor. Um, I was just I was just doing what uh, coaches asked me to do. I kind of got away from that a little bit this year, crashing the offensive glass. And um, luckily, I came up with that one at a, at a key moment in the game. My shot wasn't really falling, so I was kind of uh, trying to find other ways to to get myself involved in the game. Coach, uh, what does this win do for you guys moving forward? Because this schedule can look pretty imposing, even your next two games against San Diego State and New Mexico. Do you think this helps your team believe in what you're capable of? Well, I said to our guys just a little while ago, in this league, you only have it for one night, win, lose. 
And uh, obviously it's a great feeling for us tonight. We'll be the quality opponent here tonight that we have a lot of respect for. Um, you know, but we only get a chance to celebrate it for one night and we move back on the next day. You know, tomorrow our preparation turns towards San Diego State. You know, uh, we're going to have a tough environment, a venue to play in down there Saturday. And, uh, um, you know, we'll do what we've done all year long in terms of our, our routine. We'll get back to our regular routine on Thursday and uh, just continue to try to build on it. We had great effort tonight from everybody. One last question for Paul. Uh, well, the way you guys finished that obviously was impressive tonight. Kevin Foster certainly uh, gave you the lift early as well. What would you say you were most pleased with tonight, the thing that made you the most proud as the coach? I, I thought we played as a team tonight. I thought we were a team all the way around. And again, I think uh, when, when you talk about team contribution in terms of everybody contributing to what we're doing, everybody was really engaged tonight on the bench. The guys were into the game the entire time, guys on the floor. It may seem like a little thing, but guys get in huddles. Guys understanding what we're trying to execute and what we're trying to do, it was really big for us tonight. And, and uh, you know, it's going to be big for us for the remainder of the year in terms of guys staying together and, and playing as a team. I guess I should follow up, too, with uh, Braden Anderson. His first chance, did you feel like he gave you some help there, especially in the first half? Oh, no, absolutely. Braden came in and gave us quality minutes. Uh, and, again, what we said that uh, we've really tried to keep it simple for Braden. Uh, at this point right now, you know, coming in at the level of competition that he's competing against right now, right off the bat, just come in and play with a motor, give us a defensive presence, try to rebound the basketball for us, set good screens, just really keep it as simple as we can right now for him until he continues to develop. I mean, uh, but I thought he gave us quality minutes coming in for Foster and, and uh, uh, was really good for us tonight. Congratulations. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. That's Thanks, everybody. Very on the post-game show. Brought to you by Bassford. We're part of nothing like this.